For the final jam here in the course, we are going to play through 32 bars of a D funk jam. It's going to be D minor, D Dorian. Since, you know, we see the key signature has no sharps or flats, it puts us in the key of C, and that's a, that's a Dorian thing. So let's take a look at the chart. We're looking at 32 bars at 120 beats per minute. We're back up at that high tempo. Uh, but taking a quick look at it, though, first thing I do when I see a high tempo is to see the content. And when I look at something like this, it makes me feel a little better because it's a lot of open notes, meaning long notes. You know, the first thing you play is six beats long. It's a tied whole note um, going over the bar line to a half note. And there's a lot of pattern in here. Uh, so that's in my favor, too. So... You know, take these things in mind, keep the count going on, you know, remember the feel for concept, dig into the track, put your sense of style into it if you're ready to do that. If not, just play, you know, make sure that you're nailing those dotted um, half notes that happen. I see them at the beginning of the uh, third and fourth system and this and that. So our biggest challenge here is, is the length of it, 32 bars, and the tempo of it. And there's some big jumps, too. If you check out... Um, in the first and second uh, system, in the even-numbered bars, you see a big jump there. We haven't seen that yet, but it's something that we want to realize. So, for instance, in the uh, second bar, we have a B up to a higher G because we have two Gs we've been reading. Now, like any other skip or interval, they have a picture. This one, I, I know it from looking at them a lot, that's a sixth, specifically a minor sixth, but it, it's a sixth. You know, and if you go over to the fourth bar and look at the D down to the G, the lower G that we've been playing, that's a fifth. You know, and I know these by the way that they look. For instance, a fifth is line to line with a line in the middle or a space to space with a space in the middle. So good thing to remember with those is the odd number intervals, threes and fives and sevens, always are on the same um, type of placement on the staff, space to space or line to line, where the even number stuff is always on the opposite placements. It's line to space or space to line, however many they are separated by. So these are things you keep in mind when you start uh, reading stuff that has intervals in it. And there's more in there as, I, as I'm quickly looking through the chart too. Um, you're going to come up to some fourths uh, down there in the sixth and seventh system in the uh, even number bars. So cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Looking forward to playing this one. It's my jam. Okay, ready? So I'm going to count you in, <clears throat> 120 beats per minute, and uh, we're in for some funk with a disco flavor, as you will see. Here we go. Three, four... If I haven't said it enough, reading ahead is the key. I know for me, reading this one, that's how it happens. That's how I made it happen is from reading ahead. Every single thing I was playing, as I played it, I'd already read it. And I'm playing it and looking at the next element. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to make the transitions or do what I have to do to play what needs to be played. It's, it is all about the reading ahead thing. That is the absolute number one law, concept, idea that you have to follow. That's what will definitely make you uh, a sight reader, put you on the road to becoming a good sight reader. So that was it. That was the jam. That's it. We're reading. We got eight notes under your belt, under your fingers. We have whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes, all these downbeat values. They're associated rests, dots, ties, and repeats. That's pretty cool. It's a great foundation to start reading some stuff. So do that. Read. <laughs>